Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and today I'm here with Heather, Heather Lounsbury yes. from LiveNaturalLiveWell.com. Yes. How are you? Good, thanks for That's having good. me. Yeah, not a problem. Good to meet you. Yes. Because um, Heather is um, into all the health aspects like I am and nutrition because Heather is an acupuncturist a nutritionist and a herbalist. herbalist as well. So that's great. Thank you. So I think we have a lot in common and a lot to talk about today. Definitely. So could you tell me, why did you get involved with um, wanting to study those things in the first place? Um, well, the main reason is I uh, became vegetarian at 14 mm -hmm. and had no idea what I was doing. This is 1985. And um, my doctor, of course, didn't know what to do with me. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, he just said, start eating meat again, because yep. I was anemic. And uh, I started studying nutrition on mm -hmm. my own, and I also got a severe case of mono, and the doctor's like, there's nothing you can do. It's um, when you sleep a lot, it's like a chronic oh, fatigue okay. type mm -hmm. thing. Yep. And I started researching nutrition and herbs just mm -hmm. for my own sake yep. back then, and then worked at a food co-op, learned a ton there, mm -hmm. became, I was a, a chef for a while mm -hmm. in college, and like, wow, I can do this for a living. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I love it. I mean, I, I learn for my own sake all the time still. Cool. And how yeah. long have you been practicing? Um, 12 years. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. And so what what are the um, main things that people come to you for? Like what ailments, what diseases, or what problems? Um, well, it's mostly women who come see me. Mm -hmm. I'd say 80% of my patients are female, mm -hmm. and a lot of them have gynecological disorders. Mm -hmm. Um, with all with pesticides, pollution, and all the antibiotics and steroids in animal products, women yeah. are getting sicker and sicker mm -hmm. when it comes to their their periods and mm -hmm. fertility and so forth. So, a lot of that, and also mental health. Everyone is stressed, mm -hmm. anxious, panic attacks, mm -hmm. anger issues, yep. and addiction. So, mm -hmm. um, I treat a lot of pain, food allergies. Um, skin problems because again mm. diet is directly mm. connected to how our skin looks and that's why at 41 <laughs> this is how I look. <laughs> Good on you, 32 almost. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so what, what, when people come and say they've got these problems, what's the first thing you do? When someone comes for a consultation with you, yes. do you go through their whole health history? Lead, yes. lead us through an example okay. of what you do. Um, well, I send all my patient, new patients get an extensive form to fill out with mm -hmm. their medical history, and they're supposed to fill out what they eat on an average mm -hmm. day, and a lot of people leave that blank. They, or they lie. Yeah, they <laughs> lie, or they say healthy. <laughs> and um, Do you drink water? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not, that doesn't mean in coffee. <laughs> yes, or soda. Um, and then I spend about half an hour, 45 minutes talking about any, um, besides their chief complaint, whatever mm -hmm. they're coming in for mostly, we talk about illnesses they've had in the past, mm -hmm. any surgeries, and I get them to open up more about what they eat. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I'll share that I grew up with a typical American diet, mm -hmm. and lots of fast food and mm -hmm. junk food, and you know, I didn't start off this way. So mm -hmm. people, you know, people can be really intimidated when mm -hmm. Thinking like, oh, you never have chocolate, probably, do you? I'm like, mm. no. <laughs> uh, vegans love sweets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's organic, fair trade, <laughs> vegan, but I do like chocolate. So. Yeah. And so, yeah, after that, what happened? Um, then most people come to me for, me, um, to me for acupuncture as well. Mm -hmm. So um, after we've done the, the consultation, the medical intake, we'll talk about herbs and nutrition a bit, mm -hmm. and then they get acupuncture. And while their needles are in, I make a really detailed list. I call it their homework. It's mm -hmm. like lifestyle guidelines of, oh, of things to eat, mm -hmm. things to avoid, mm -hmm. uh, little little tricks on how to remember to drink water mm -hmm. and all those things. So mm -hmm. they get at least one page, and then I usually send them some, email them some handouts too to, uh, that's specific for their illness, like cool. candida. I send yeah, them things great. on how to get rid of candida. Mm -hmm. so. And then they leave happy and usually with some supplements mm -hmm. and come back. Cool. So what's the main supplement that you would use? Um, well, I do work a lot with um, probiotics. Mm -hmm. um, and, and just to explain what a probiotic probiotics is. is the healthy bacteria that a lot of us are lacking mm -hmm. um, due to overuse of antibiotics or if you eat animal products, there's mm -hmm. antibiotics in that. And um, oral contraceptive pills Oral contraceptives, well. yeah. yes. So most people need that support. Mm -hmm. um, it helps with your immune system, digestive health. Mm -hmm. Um, so m almost all my patients need me need probiotics, yep. um, and then I, sometimes they're usually taking a 
a poor quality multivitamin if they're taking anything. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'll give them that. Mm -hmm. um, and then herbs that address their chief complaint. Like if mm -hmm. they come in and they have um, upset stomach or insomnia, I'll give mm -hmm. them something to start with, mm -hmm. see how they respond, and then make them eventually make them their own formula that mm -hmm. addresses everything that's Specific going on with things, them. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yes. And so how many people take herbs? Um, consistently? Yeah. <laughs> That's always uh, an issue to get people yes. to take herbs. Actually, some, actually, my patients, for the most part, are very compliant. Yeah, I, at good. least half mm. are consistent. Cool. Good. Yes, I prescribe them to everyone, and mm -hmm. some say I, will, I won't take them, so mm -hmm. I don't force them. Like, I'm not going to have you waste your money mm -hmm. and just have it sit in your cabinet. Mm -hmm. So, if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. So, What's a really good health tip that you give? Like, the best health tip? Um, well, if there's a couple things. More water, mm -hmm. add, adding lemon to your water, mm -hmm. um, that helps um, absorb the water better. It helps detoxify and stimulate metabolism because mm -hmm. almost everyone wants to lose some weight. Not everybody, but a lot and, of people. And it's good if people don't like the taste of water and think it's boring as yes, well. Yes, but... exactly. Um, and organic as much as possible, mm -hmm. whether that's um, because of budgetary reasons that you have a hard time mm -hmm. affording organic or. Um, wherever you live, there's not a lot of access to mm -hmm. it, so it's organic as much as possible. Those yeah. are my two. Cool. Big. They're very good ones. I like those. And yeah. so I, I like to add sleep and rest <laughs> as much as you can. Not that I might follow my own advice at exactly. times. But <laughs> yeah. So tell me one really cool acupuncture point. Um, well, a lot of people, on your hand, Maybe. is um, this point here, a lot of people know it. It's in between your pointer finger and your thumb in the web. Mm -hmm. It's great That's for right any here. pain. That's headaches, isn't it? Any pain Let in the body. So that's um, right about there. Yes. Yeah. So that's a great one for pain. This one, if you have neck pain, a lot of people are on computers a lot. Yeah, me. Um, right here helps mm -hmm. uh, release neck tension, which mm -hmm. I can't cool. explain in Western terms why it works. But Is it, it does. just the left hand side? For no, that? both finger, both okay. hands. It's the same. We're the same on each side. Okay, great. So. Yeah. Yeah, I love acupuncture myself. Okay. And anything I have a problem with, acupuncture always heals me, and in particular, um, Chinese herbal medicine yeah. as well for me. And so, tell me about being vegan. Like, how, yes. why do you think health is, you know, in relation should be in relation to veganism? Um, well, there's, gosh, that's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. um, especially. Especially now, related, if we're just going to talk about health and veganism, mm -hmm. the, 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 the health of the animals that people mm -hmm. are eating and are eating their byproducts, mm -hmm. is so, they're so sick yeah. that we're taking, we're taking, too. yes, we're taking in that illness mm -hmm. and um, definitely the levels of saturated fats mm -hmm. are poor and it's not, there's no fiber mm -hmm. in animal products. And we just, we don't need it. Most people are lactose intolerant and they're mm -hmm. making themselves sick from mm -hmm. eating dairy. Um, um, so that answers your question. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so why did you become vegan in the first um, place? Well, it was for animals. Mm -hmm. Most of it is because of animals, and I do do it for health and environmental mm -hmm. reasons, but it's the animals that keep me going. Yeah. Because there's, you know, sometimes that slice of pizza that your friend's eating mm -hmm. smells good, mm -hmm. but you know, I would never eat it. No. Because I know what it means. Well, the same thing for me, I would, like, because of the animal ethics and the moral issues, yeah. and then found out more about environmental stuff, health in particular, yeah. always been interested in health, uh, feminist issues, social justice. Just third it. world issues, like every single thing that I'm, I agree with. Yeah. It just relates to veganism, yeah, which I think I is amazing. With, I vote with uh, my belly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or vote with your fork or yeah, whatever they say. Exactly. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, what's your plans for the future? Um, well, I have a book, hopefully getting published mm -hmm. in, in the next year. What's it about? It's about um, nutrition and your emotional health. Cool. So whether or not you have stress, anxiety, fear issues, mm -hmm. what foods are good for that. And it's nutrition from a Western standpoint and mm -hmm. an Eastern standpoint. Mm, great. And a product line. Yeah, product nice. line. What sort of product? <laughs> All herbs. Chinese, Chinese herbs yeah. in liquid form. Mm -hmm. Because people hate to take pills. Yeah. Something you do, can you just... do you find that? Oh, yes. Yeah, Americans do. Okay, well, see, overseas, a lot of people prefer pills. Yeah. To take just because they think it's going to be easy, or yeah. and it doesn't have a taste. Yeah, I have yeah. so many, so many of my wow. patients. They hate taking pills, and okay, a lot of them are cool. have been taking so many medications yeah, that okay. they're just, just overwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah. And with Chinese herbs, it's in the whole plant form, yeah. just ground down mm -hmm. or cooked. Mm -hmm. So it's you have to take a lot, mm -hmm. and that's can be overwhelming, like eight mm -hmm. to ten or twelve pills a day mm -hmm. just of Chinese herbs. Mm -hmm. So with liquid. 
it's going to be a lot easier. Yes, definitely. Well, yes. I look forward to seeing all the new things that are coming up, Hannah. <laughs> Thank and you. And what's your website again? LiveNaturalLiveWell.com. Mm -hmm. So check that out for more health tips and to book an appointment with Heather in yes. LA area. Um, every Actually, I do phone consultations. So okay, even... Cool. Even anywhere in the world, because I can Skype or GChat oh, yeah. yeah. as well. It's the world we live in, isn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. So yeah, Heather, vegan, um, nutritionist, herbalist, and acupuncturist. Yes. What more could you want in a person, really? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> but yeah, see, thank you, Heather, and thank see VivaLaVegan.net for more info for more interviews with inspiring vegans.